Hi, Cyberspruce here, back with another Enter Dimensions New Game Plus S Plus City, episode 202. And it's been a while since episode 201. You can see I have I've actually um, did a little bit of off-camera stuff, just grinding the runes. So now I have ridiculous amount, ridiculous amount of ghostly bosonic runes and quantum bosonic runes. I can get three bosonic antimatter from this. And actually I, I can get a couple of these upgrades. I were only just one. It's it, this one, the Higgs bosons reduce the cost of electron upgrades. That one's pretty weak. I don't see any increase in the antimatter. Maybe if I crunch, it'll give me an increase. No, it didn't even give me an increase. So, that, that's a very weak upgrade. What I'm instead going to do is I'm going to max this and this. And that should help me get more Z bosons, except I already have a ridiculous amount of Z bosons. I have not grinded W bosons. Okay, that was a little underwhelming. I thought it was going to be a lot faster than that for some reason. I mean, I guess I could, you know, do bosonic battery because, I mean, now it's a little faster, but it's not really anything major. Maybe there is something in photons. Yes, I can get another light empowerment. So I will, I should probably go into Big Rip with the new upgrade. I don't think it's going to really mean much. No new reward and, of course, no new radioactive decay. But at least I can get some more Ghostifies and Neutrinos out of this. So, I, for whatever reason, I can't get as much Ghost Particles as before. Again, it's probably some sort of balancing change from New Game Plus 3.1. So, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm going to Ghostify and then get the Light Empowerment going, and then I'll and then I'll do the Higgs reset. So, Ghostify, Light Empowerment, um, and Actually, I can Light Empowerment again. That's two Light Empowerments in one. So now I have 18 Light Empowerments. And, I mean, that, that'll help a little bit. And I guess with the Balsonic Enchant, I'm just going to try to um, use this. It does give me an extra Higgs Boson. So this means I will get, I'll go from three Higgs Bosons to seven Higgs Bosons. So here we go. I will exchange all my Balsonic Lab stuff for Higgs Bosons. Everything the light empowerments resets will initially be reset. Are you ready to proceed? Of course. So now I'm going to need E34 bosonic antimatter to get any, anything else. So, yeah, well, first I should, um, I already have, I now already have the first bosonic upgrade, which is pretty nice to see. I probably just want to start grinding, like, Z bosons, except that, that takes forever. Okay, I need to go into big rip first. Just, first I just want to get, gain antiprions. I have to go into Big Rip and do, like, the normal stuff. Just get a decent amount of radioactive decay. It's only 9, and I'll, and 90 rewards. And I guess this will do... This this will help slightly. This will allow me to get a decent amount of antimatter so I can actually speed up um, Balsonic Lab with the Balsonic Watts. So it, it was at 0.5, now it's at 2.6, so... It's a little bit faster, but it's still going to take a, a long while to actually um, get all the extracting done. It's, actually, it's not only, it's not only taking 20 seconds, and once I start getting, like, Z bosons, or actually, I should probably get the W boson first. Just a single W plus boson is very useful to get. And, yeah, I'm still disappointed in just how this early bosonic lab stuff is still slow. Actually... Someone pointed out that if I go into Automator Ghosts, there's a new Automator Ghost, Auto Extractor Ghost, and um, it says not implemented. I don't even know what that means, but uh, is, is, this just feels like the Bosonic Enchant. Does that mean I? So that means can I extract runes without using this? If that's the case, that's pretty useful. It's not overpowered. The comment was saying it was like game changing and overpowered. Uh, not really overpowered because these two are pretty weak. Like you can just use this at select times, like right when you're gonna reset. But and it isn't even extracting. Even with the automator ghost, e even though I have enough automator power. Okay, so this is useless doesn't even do anything. So instead I will just get, do this and use this and this will actually that'll actually provide me with something. But still disappointingly slow. And 
like even with the one W boson, it's it's not gonna do much. It's gonna increase the speed very slightly. So I think I've already done this enough times. I'm just gonna do a lot of the progression off camera until it starts getting faster because again, Higgs bosons do like nothing until you start getting bosonic answer. I still I still don't even know what Higgs bosons do. But yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back quite a while later, and this means I, I, I nothing happened. Okay, I, I have a lot of Eternity Bosonic Roots. That's the one thing I have, which is a bit of a shame. It's I, c I can't get the speed up the production and use of Antiprions. I can't really do anything. I guess I can go into Big Rip. Maybe this will do something. Okay, 97, maybe 98 rewards. I'm not sure. Actually, no, 98 will be possible here. And 10 radioactive decays. Not really close to the 11th. Okay, not not much happening. Maybe I really should have actually been true to myself and actually done some stuff off camera. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back a while later. I've gotten, I've grinded a lot of runes and a lot of Z-Bows and there's a lot of everything. And I can get three Bosonic upgrades. This one, this one, and this one. So, this will immediately help my Bosonic Watts. Not only that, I have enough runes to be able to get many of these upgrades. I'm not exactly sure which ones I want. Um, I'm pretty close to getting this one here. Um, I'm not really close to anything else. So, maybe I can try... I could get 85 levels of this. Which, um, honestly... I feel like that's the best decision to do at this point. Because I don't really need much of anything else. I don't need more Bosonic Antimatter. I don't. I could try to get some Bosonic Battery. That is a possible thing I want to do. So I think I'll just, just do 85 of this. I don't really need Ghostly Bosonic Runes at this point. So I will get two levels of this. Which means I will be using this. Even though it's only a 2% increase in Bosonic Battery. And I'll still have enough... Eternity Bosonic Runes to be able to get this upgrade. So I think that's what really what matters. Now, let's see. Can I do this? This is reasonably quick, but I don't know. I was hoping for a little faster, but honestly, that's actually pretty fast. So especially if I go into Big Rip, I can do stuff there. I can probably get I'm at 103 rewards. I can wake up the Antiprion Ghost. So um, 106 rewards. Um... And 12 radioactive decays. If I go out of Big Rip, I should be able to get even more antimatter because of that. So, let's see. You want 50 quadrillion, 154, 155, 156. So, looks like I'm just going to keep grinding more W plus and W and W plus bosons and more runes. It's just, it still takes a long time to get anything done. I could try to get more balsonic antimatter. Using this is 20% Bosonic Antimatter increase, which may be worth it over a 2% Bosonic Battery increase because some things are based on Bosonic Antimatter. Another thing I could do is try to get a few more levels of this just so I can have this keep up with the extracting. But other than that, there's not much I can do. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back and I now have. Um, a lot more W plus bosons. So hopefully now I can get um, more Infinity Bosonic Runes. Yeah, I can get 3,000 per second. Unfortunately, I'm only getting 400 per second. So I need to, yeah, upgrade it one by one. I really don't want to spend it all on this because that would waste way too many Bosonic Runes. So I'm just going to do it like this. This is not very efficient. I really wish there was a way to buy a custom amount, or just something that's not one or max, because that's way too limited. I mean, maybe what I can do, I can get some um, Z bosons. That will actually really help things. But I'm still, I'm basically waiting just to get another 300,000 Infinity Bosonic Runs. Hopefully it won't take that long. It's going to take less than five minutes. So I'm just going to wait it out. Okay, now I have enough Bosonic Runes here. This is almost up to 3.31 thousand, but I'm just going to get this Bosonic upgrade. This, I 
yeah, that's one of the most powerful Bolsonic upwards of them all. You can just see how much the antimatter increased. Antimatter nearly squared. Bolsonic antimatter also increased by a large amount. So, and even like this, like the, just the speed at which, yeah, you can see my Bolsonic watts have doubled and just everything is just so much faster. That's, that's the power of that upgrade. I really need to, to remind myself that up, that upgrade is powerful. I knew it's good, but I keep forgetting just how good it is. It's like better than almost all the others combined. That's how, that's how good it is. So I got enough upgrades of this that I think I'm just going to try to get some Z bosons here. I'm already up to 83 billion. And with this, I can probably, okay, that's not very fast, but I can go into big rip. I can probably get a ton more done. What even is this first nanofill reward? It's the Dimension Supersonic scaling starts later. That's literally it. That's what's so powerful. It's, it's kind of an odd thing that it's so powerful, but that's what it is. So, yeah, I probably do want to get some more upgrades. Of the, I'm not really close to any more Balsonic upgrades. I guess I am somewhat close. Actually, no, I'm, I'm pretty close to this, this one here. The replace 7th nanofill reward. The boost to gain, neutrino gain, and prion charge. So I, it's not. Even, I don't think it's even the most powerful yet. It's still really good. So I'm just gonna keep decaying the Z bows, and I'm not not sure how many levels of this I want. Um, I could try to swap this for that. That will give me a little more balsamic antimatter, which I think will be pretty good. And um, there's not much else I can do other than wait for these last. I'm, again, getting 3,000 per second. So, that that means that it's only going to take a minute or so to reach the next Balsonic upgrade. I haven't even checked how, well, how many radioactive decays I have. I can, I can do that. I'm at 13. Um, so, yeah, that, that's definitely going to help things. I can also even check photons just to see. I'm at 34 ultraviolet light. I'm kind of far away from the next light empowerment. So, that that's okay. I'm just... I think once I I get enough Eternity Bosonic Runes, what I'm going to do after that is I will basically spend it all because the next one here is 20 million. That's far away. And the 7.5 million isn't that far away. So, and I'll be spending it on something that will give me more Z bosons. So, yeah, there's not, I mean, I could also try to do the speed up the production and use of antiprions. I don't really think that's the most useful thing to get directly after this upgrade, so I will just, I'm, I'm just going to get that and while I'm grinding Z bosons, and I feel like I have enough Z bosons that I may, that this may be a lot faster, especially with bo enough Bolsonic battery, and get 2 million Eternity Bolsonic runes, it means I can get that, you can see it's much less powerful, Th this upgrade is even more powerful than that one, I, I keep, remember this one's extremely powerful, but this one's even more powerful. And unfortunately, I forgot that this is five ghostly balsonic runes. And it's only 2.5 million eternity balsonic runes. So, yeah, I probably should. It's pro pro I'm not exactly sure how quickly I can get ghostly balsonic runes. I'm just going to get this upgrade, though. And I could get this. Honestly, I'm just going to get it. That, that Those two stacked actually can really help me get a ton of Z bosons. So, now I'm actually just going to get some of these, just so I can get more levels of this. Um, until I run out of Eternity Bosonic Runes. Then I probably, once I run out of Eternity Bosonic Runes, I'll just go all the way up to 7.5 million. That's what I'm going to do. So, now that I have this, I probably won't need to focus on that for a while. And I've just been getting Z Bosons. And 7.5 million, I'm getting 6,000 per second. 7.5 million, then it's going to take 20 minutes. So, it's a little bit of time, but it's not all that substantial. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to... I'm going to go into Big Rip first, because I think Big Rip runs are going to be a little better. It's still 109. I, actually, maybe I can get 110. I can get 110 here. And no additional radiance is the case. So, nothing huge. I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to try to get... 7.5 million Infinity Balsonic Runes, so I can get this upgrade. I know this one's pretty good. And then I can go for the, um, for this and five Ghostly Balsonic Runes, which 
hopefully it should take less than an hour. So, yes, yeah, it's only when you get sort of to the mid part of Balsonic Lab where things actually get reasonably fast. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.